Welcome to the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. The Arizona Wildcats unveiled their 2016 recruiting class on Wednesday, and Coach Rich Rodriguez says that the newest crop of cats is long and athletic. Here's what he had to say. I'll go off on a tangent. We start talking about the recruiting and you know signing day and all that. I, I'm I'm almost convinced we should have no signing day, but that's another topic we could discuss later. But Every coach will tell you they're excited today, and I'm sure they're as excited to get this part of it uh, wrapped up and moving on to the next class or class after that. But we think we have some really good football players. I think you could tell maybe in the next couple of years how accurate we were with our assessment, but I do think we've got met uh, most of our needs, most of our wants, and you know, a lot of good guys, a uh, strong academic class, and some really good football players, and we still got – uh, I think maybe a spot or two that we can get somebody on down the line. So it's a good group. What kind of aspect of defense do you think you gained? Well, we need to get a little bit more athletic defensively. We've got to get deeper. Cer certainly our depth took a hit this year with the injuries, and that was a major part of it. But we also graduated several safeties, lost a few linebackers to graduation or the NFL. So we've, we've, got, uh, we've got to get guys that can – Hopefully, come in and compete. You know, we're looking for taller, rangier safeties. Uh, we need, you know, we're still looking for guys up front, pass rush guys, and all that, and, and linebackers that could maybe be a pass rush guy, and as a defensive end, but also be able to play in space. So, yeah, everybody's looking for them. We're no different, but we did get some. If you look at our linebackers, we got some taller, six three, six four, probably going to be two hundred thirty five pound guys that that are pretty athletic in space. A lot of Yeah. Well, one of the things with Khalil, we had the benefit of seeing him in person a couple times throw. And I think that, that, that part of it, not just throw, but his demeanor and in, 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 in the technique. And, you know, he's, he's a willing runner. I think sometimes when you're a willing runner like that, you get labeled as, as an athlete, but he can really throw it. And he's got a great opportunity this spring to, to, uh, to learn and, and get a lot of reps and, you know, I think his future is there. So it's, uh, you know, we, <coughs> excuse me, I'd like to have at least four or five, and we will have that counting walk-ons, but uh, we're going to have some pretty good competition at quarterback, and I think Khalil can, can play here at that position. <laughs> well, I don't know if you ever, I think you're probably our years where you say you're 100% happy. Every coach is going to tell you today, hey, you know, I, you know, we're extremely happy with the class and, you know, whether they are or not, they're going to lie to you and tell you they are. But I think, you know, what we needed to do, obviously, is defensively, you had to get bigger and more athletic. And we did that uh, on on uh, on all three levels. And then offensively, we had to get some size, we got a little help at the skill positions. Um, so it's um, all the way around a really good recruiting class. And I think we're, you know, our approach to recruiting, I think Matt, Dudek's done a, a, a great job of organizing it, and, and uh, the coaches' staff has taken a lot of pride in it. But we're gonna we're gonna crank this thing up to another level in recruiting, and I think that emphasis has got to start with me, and certainly throughout everybody in this building. You know, if our if you're if you're a coach for Arizona and you don't bust your tail recruiting, then uh, then you're gonna get uh, you know get on. I'm gonna get on you pretty good. So. I think our guys are, will take a lot of pride in it and enjoy recruiting. And you have to enjoy it. It's a lot of work. I, there's a certain parts of it that's not as fun, but most of it is pretty enjoyable if you're a people person. And I think our, we have a lot of guys that enjoy recruiting. Is there anyone in this class you feel like has a better chance or a really good chance to make an immediate contribution play next year and a couple guys stand out in that? Yeah, that's a fair question. But, you know, I never hardly answer that because yeah, it's uh, – I tell you the same you now, so you can uh, repeat it to the recruits. I tell the recruits to say, I don't ever guarantee you're going to start as soon as you come here because that's not fair to them or the guys on the team. But we don't recruit anybody to be backups. We're not recruiting you to come here and say, okay, you'll be a backup for a year or two, and then we'll see what you can do. If we're recruiting you and signing you, it's because we think you can play and contribute at this level. Now, how soon you are ready mentally and physically, we'll find out in a hurry. But. Uh, I think guys know that we truly have a competi open competition, and we've played true freshmen, 
newcomers in the past, and we will do it every year. And there's several in this class. You can probably imagine the positions that we had guys graduate from or leave early from are the ones that are going to be easier to, to climb up the depth chart. But, I mean, I got 100 and whatever, I got 105 kids, 110 kids right now going through spring ball. They're going to have something to say with that too. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.